Imagine a small blue-green alga that has been around for billions of years. This magical plant, called spirulina, has gained attention for its potential health benefits. But what happens if someone with kidney issues consumes spirulina for 30 days? Let's find out. Before diving into spirulina's effects, let's understand why kidney health matters. Our kidneys are like super filters in our bodies. They remove waste and excess fluids, balance minerals, and produce hormones essential for our well-being. When kidneys are not working well, waste can build up, causing various health problems. Spirulina is a type of cyanobacteria, often referred to as blue-green alga. It's packed with nutrients like protein, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. People take spirulina as a dietary supplement for its potential health benefits. To explore the effects of spirulina on kidney patients, researchers conducted a study where participants consumed spirulina daily for 30 days. They measured various health markers before and after the experiment to see any changes. After 30 days of consuming spirulina, kidney patients experienced positive changes in their health markers. From improved kidney function to reduced inflammation and better management of blood pressure and blood sugar levels, spirulina showed promise as a beneficial supplement for kidney patients. Let's explore these five benefits of spirulina in detail. Number one, it helps reduce inflammation. Spirulina contains compounds that may help reduce inflammation in the body, including the kidneys. One of these compounds is called phycosinin, which gives spirulina its blue-green color. Phycosinin is a powerful antioxidant, which means it can help neutralize harmful molecules called free radicals that contribute to inflammation. Research studies have shown that phycosinin has anti-inflammatory properties. For example, a study published in the journal Phytomedicine found that phycosinin inhibited the production of inflammatory markers in cells. These markers are substances that indicate inflammation is happening in the body. By reducing the production of these markers, phycosinin helps to decrease inflammation. Another way spirulina helps to reduce inflammation is through its high content of other antioxidants, such as beta-carotene and vitamin E. These antioxidants work together with phycosinin to combat inflammation by scavenging free radicals and preventing damage to cells and tissues. In the kidneys, inflammation can occur due to various reasons, including kidney disease or infections. By reducing inflammation, spirulina may help protect the kidneys from damage and improve their function. A study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food showed that spirulina supplementation reduced inflammation and oxidative stress in rats with kidney damage. Number two, it helps maintain blood pressure. Spirulina has been studied for its potential to help maintain blood pressure levels, including in people with kidney issues. One reason for this is that spirulina contains certain peptides, which are small chains of amino acids, the building blocks of protein. These peptides have been found to have effects on the body's blood pressure regulation system. Studies have shown that these peptides in spirulina may inhibit an enzyme called angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE. This enzyme plays a role in the body's regulation of blood pressure by influencing the constriction of blood vessels. When ACE is inhibited, blood vessels can relax, leading to lower blood pressure. Some research suggests that spirulina's ACE inhibitory peptides may be as effective as certain blood pressure medications known as ACE inhibitors. Additionally, spirulina is rich in certain minerals like potassium and magnesium, which are important for maintaining healthy blood pressure levels. Potassium, in particular, helps to balance the effects of sodium in the body, which is crucial for regulating blood pressure. However, for individuals with kidney issues, it's important to be cautious with potassium intake, as impaired kidneys may have difficulty regulating potassium levels in the blood. One study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food found that consuming spirulina regularly for three months 
led to a significant decrease in blood pressure among individuals with hypertension. Another study in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry reported that spirulina supplementation reduced blood pressure in both animals and humans. It's important for individuals, especially those with kidney problems, to consult with their healthcare provider before starting any supplementation to ensure it is safe and appropriate for their specific health needs. Number three, it helps regulate blood sugar. Spirulina contains compounds that may help regulate blood sugar levels, which can be especially beneficial for people with kidney issues. One of the key components in spirulina that helps with blood sugar regulation is called phycocyanin. Phycocyanin is a pigment found in spirulina that gives it its blue-green color, and it has been studied for its potential health benefits. Research has shown that phycocyanin has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. These properties can help protect the pancreas, which is the organ responsible for producing insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. By protecting the pancreas and reducing inflammation, phycocyanin may help improve insulin sensitivity, allowing cells to better respond to insulin and regulate blood sugar levels more effectively. In addition to phycocyanin, spirulina is also rich in other nutrients like protein, vitamins, and minerals. These nutrients play various roles in the body's metabolism and can contribute to overall health, including blood sugar regulation. For example, protein helps stabilize blood sugar levels by slowing down the absorption of carbohydrates from the diet. Several studies have investigated the effects of spirulina on blood sugar levels. One study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food found that spirulina supplementation significantly reduced fasting blood sugar levels in diabetic rats. Another study published in the Annals of Nutrition and Metabolism observed improvements in blood sugar control and insulin sensitivity in type 2 diabetic patients who consumed spirulina supplements for three months. More research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms behind spirulina's effects on blood sugar regulation. The evidence suggests that compounds like phycocyanin and the nutrient-rich profile of spirulina may contribute to its potential benefits for managing blood sugar levels, which can be particularly helpful for individuals with kidney issues who may be at higher risk of developing diabetes or experiencing complications related to blood sugar imbalances. Number four, it can boost your immune system. Spirulina is known for its potential to boost immune function, which can be especially beneficial for kidney health. One way spirulina supports the immune system is through its high content of antioxidants. Antioxidants are molecules that help fight off harmful molecules called free radicals, which can damage cells and weaken the immune system. Spirulina contains antioxidants like beta-carotene, phycocyanin, and vitamin E, which help protect the body from oxidative stress and inflammation. Research has shown that spirulina can enhance the certain aspects of immune function. A study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food found that spirulina supplementation increased the production of antibodies, which are proteins that help the immune system recognize and neutralize harmful pathogens like bacteria and viruses. Another study, published in the Journal of Applied Psychology, demonstrated that spirulina enhanced the activity of natural killer cells, which are white blood cells that play a critical role in the immune response against cancer cells and infected cells. Additionally, spirulina contains a unique molecule called polysaccharides, which have been shown to stimulate the activity of macrophages. Macrophages are another type of white blood cell that engulfs and digests pathogens and debris in the body helping to protect against infections. By enhancing macrophage activity, spirulina can strengthen the body's ability to defend against harmful invaders. Furthermore, spirulina is rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals, which are essential nutrients for overall health and immune function. For example, vitamin C, found in spirulina, is known to support the production and function of white blood cells, 
which are key players in the immune response. These immune-boosting properties make spirulina a valuable dietary supplement, especially for individuals with kidney issues who may have compromised immune systems. However, further research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms by which spirulina supports immune function in kidney patients. Number 5. It can reduce your risk of developing anemia. Spirulina can help reduce the risk of developing anemia, especially in people with kidney problems. Anemia is when your body doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen to your tissues. People with kidney issues, like chronic kidney disease, often have anemia because their kidneys can't make enough of a hormone called erythropoietin, which tells your body to make red blood cells. So how does spirulina help? Spirulina is a type of alga that's packed with nutrients. One important nutrient it contains is iron. Iron is essential for making hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. When you don't get enough iron, your body can't make as many red blood cells, leading to anemia. Spirulina provides a good amount of iron, helping to support the production of red blood cells. Another nutrient in spirulina that helps with anemia is vitamin B12. This vitamin is crucial for the formation of red blood cells. Without enough vitamin B12, your body can't make healthy red blood cells, which can contribute to anemia. Spirulina contains vitamin B12, which helps support the production of red blood cells, reducing the risk of anemia. Research has shown that spirulina supplementation can indeed help improve markers of anemia. A study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology found that supplementation with spirulina significantly increased hemoglobin levels in participants with anemia. Another study published in the Annals of Nutrition and Metabolism showed that spirulina supplementation improved both hemoglobin and iron levels in elderly subjects with anemia. Research supports the use of spirulina as a nutritional supplement to improve markers of anemia, making it a potentially beneficial option for individuals looking to support their overall health. Recommended dosage of spirulina. For kidney patients, figuring out the right amount of spirulina to take can be tricky. Research suggests that spirulina can be beneficial for people with kidney issues because it's packed with nutrients. However, too much of it might not be good, especially because spirulina contains potassium, which can be harmful if the kidneys aren't working well. Studies recommend being cautious and starting with a small dose, like around 1 to 3 grams per day. This amount seems to be safe for most people, including those with kidney problems. Research shows that taking 1 gram of spirulina daily can improve certain markers of kidney health, like reducing protein in the urine, which is a sign of kidney stress. Remember, kidney patients should always talk to their doctor before starting any new supplement, including spirulina. Doctors can give personalized advice based on a patient's specific health needs and help them figure out if spirulina is a good choice and how much is safe to take. Besides spirulina, there's another potential natural remedy that can be especially helpful for people who are diabetic or obese. MCT oil. MCT oil stands for medium-chain triglyceride oil. It's a type of fat that's found in certain oils like coconut oil and palm kernel oil. What makes MCT oil special is that it's made up of medium-chain fatty acids, which are easier for the body to digest and absorb compared to long-chain fatty acids found in most other fats. For kidney patients, MCT oil can be beneficial because it provides a source of energy without putting extra stress on the kidneys. When kidneys are not working well, the body may have trouble processing certain nutrients, including fats. MCT oil contains fats that are easier for the body to handle, so it can provide a readily available source of energy without burdening the kidneys. Research has shown that MCT oil may have several benefits for kidney patients. 
A study published in the journal Nutrition in 2015 found that MCT oil supplementation improved nutritional status and increased energy intake in patients undergoing hemodialysis. Another study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2008 showed that MCT oil increased energy expenditure and fat oxidation in overweight men, suggesting that it could help manage weight in kidney patients who may have dietary restrictions. One of the reasons MCT oil is beneficial for kidney patients is that it can be easily absorbed by the body and used as fuel without putting extra strain on the kidneys. Unlike some other fats, MCTs are metabolized in the liver and quickly converted into energy, so they don't require as much processing by the kidneys. This can be especially helpful for kidney patients who may need to limit their intake of certain nutrients to avoid putting extra stress on their kidneys. In addition to providing a source of energy, MCT oil may also have other health benefits for kidney patients. For example, some research suggests that MCTs may have antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties, which could help protect against infections and inflammation that can be common in kidney disease. Remember, as with any dietary supplement, kidney patients need to consult with their healthcare provider before adding MCT oil to their diet to ensure it's safe and appropriate for their individual needs. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.